Go to State Warriors, Jordan Poole and PBJ going to Washington. Jordan Poole. It's just crazy to think that. Because I do want to get back into Draymond Green for a second. Because the new league year tampering, or the new tampering period uh, begins June 30th, which is Friday at 3 p.m. And deals are going to be flying off the table. Off the table. 3 p.m. West Coast time Fridays when which, things are going to happen. Which is why, before you continue, if they were going to work something out, you would think the Dre Warriors thing would happen prior to that. No doubt. So that they can get the well, jump on other people and other things. And then also find your trade partners yep. because you want to jump the gun on those people well, before they fill the void that, via free agency. Well, that's happening right now. These teams are talking. There's no doubt. People can say tampering. What These teams are talking. They know what's going on. 100%. They know what's going on. Mike Dunleavy Jr. is not getting any sleep. He didn't even shave uh, draft night there. So, uh 707 Copcats business text line. Dre is not near Nas Reed. Not anywhere near Nas Reed. No way he should be making more than 20, more than a 23-year-old Nas Reed. Nas Reed signed a three-year, $42 million deal, which I think is a bargain for the Minnesota Timberwolves. A bargain. Three years, $42 million for Nas Reed. A lot of people like Nas Reed. A lot of people. But real quick, on Jordan Poole, I found it fascinating, Shasky, that we played this all last year. Money time! Going into the playoffs, we were having legitimate conversations about Jordan Poole being a starter and how Jordan Poole was your second-best player. And Jordan Poole goes on that playoff run. Now, I don't think he was your second-best player in the postseason, but we were all having pool parties. We could not get enough of Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole was our guy. The baddies, the pool party, he was our guy. And in just over a year, he's gone. And the dialogue surrounding Jordan Poole, after one punch, after the turnovers, the slips, his play, the postseason, we all just like, there's a lot of people happy that Jordan Poole is gone. A lot of people now, for CP3, maybe not, because CP3 is hated. But you got to think Jordan Poole had the 15th highest selling jersey in the NBA. I mean, 15. That list came out. It's Steph, it's LeBron, it's Ja. Jordan Poole was 15th in the league. 15th in the league in terms of jersey sales. And just like that, he's gone. Well, one thing that I keep coming back to, I don't think this is everyone. I don't want to paint with a broad brush because there are so many. The majority of fans are good fans. But when you see the way people talk about Jordan Poole online, when you hear how media people talk about him, are we really surprised that athletes can't stand a lot of people's guts when it comes to how they're being talked about? Well, that's it's what. very disrespectful to the human being. You wouldn't talk about your neighbor the way you talk about some of these athletes. And and look, I'm guilty because I sports hate Chris Paul. Then I'll rip him from time to time. And, and it's with a twinkle in my eye to some degree. The way people actively go out of their way to jump the gun and talk about who Jordan Poole the person is and what happened with him and Dre, and then they like try to connect their own dots recklessly. Yeah. Honestly, it's a good reminder how sick social media can make people when they're behind the anonymous account and, and a keyboard and able to say whatever they want without any repercussion. It really, yeah. honest to God, be it, it was very unsettling for me to hear how people were talking about him. About Jordan Poole? It really made me sad yeah. for him. Well, it made me sick so much that I pulled a Joe Shask and called into the afternoon show a few weeks ago to defend Jordan Poole because I thought the dialogue was nasty. I did. I, you, I, went, I, went out, I went out with a D.C. station last Thursday, and I said, you guys are going to like this kid. This kid is – Jordan Poole is a very – to this day, I remember when Guru and I sat with him at the rich, rookie introductory press conference, and every time I sat with him in person, it was the same type of vibe. Every single time. Now, a lot of people say, oh, man, Bonte, Jordan Poole punked you when he talked about the slander on NBC Pulse. No, no, no. He was saying that he hears the slander <laughs> from all around town about who he is as a guy. Now, I didn't think the timing was right when he said it. It's like he just came off a 19-point fourth quarter. You were dynamic. Forget all that stuff. Yeah. But that, to me, was an admission that, yes, he is reading everything. He is listening to everything. And it's starting to get to him mentally. He was mentally wrecked last season as a go-to state warrior. Wrecked. Well, I think we just, we, we always, and I think society does this. Oh, you have money? Oh, because you have money, you should be insulated from mental anguish. And it's yeah. like, no, no. 
Anyone can go to therapy. Anyone can be miserable. Anyone can be unhappy. Yeah, money helps a little. Actually, helps a lot right. in a lot of cases. But that doesn't mean that you're uh, removed from having emotions and stuff. And I get you get paid to kind of ignore certain things. All of us, it would get to every one of us. If that was your son or your nephew or someone in your family, man, how would you feel? And I just feel like you want to criticize the player yeah. who at times was god-awful. Fine. If you want to connect the dots and recklessly speculate about what happened at practice or how he treated Draymond or what that conversation leading up to it or right. what happened, that's where you just miss me with right. that, all that stuff. Well, there's a lot of guys who've never been in a fight before who wants to perceive about, or wants to speculate what happened at practice. Oh, well, Jordan Poole pushed Draymond Green. This is the worst one because we've all been, you know, you're from the Excel here. I'm from Fillmore, California. We've all been in a situation where a guy walks up on you and takes away your airspace. You want to nudge him off? It's yeah, like, yo, it's the get you out can of talk my to me. Space. Get out of my yes, face. It's not a that. push that, hey, I'm ready to fight. It's a get the hell out of my face. So people are like, oh, well, Jordan Poole pushed him. Yeah, you've never been in a fight before. You've never been in that situation before. You don't really know what's happening. That was a get the hell off but, of me type of thing. And people justified that for Jordan Poole getting pushed. Well, it, it gave Draymond, hey, well, you know what? He got pushed, therefore he was allowed to knock him but, out and damn near break his jaw. It's it's not just that, which the punch is huge. It's the other part, which is he's the reason right. they didn't win this year. Right. And to me, that's like, all right, well, you didn't watch all year. Right. Now, was he great? No. No, he, he was up and down and probably way more bad, especially the last couple months right. of the year, than he was good. But what about the big guys? Steph had a bad series against the Lakers. He had moments. Clay Thompson had a bad series. Draymond had a bad series. Looney had a bad series. Yep. Looney was really good yep. the series before. He was really bad in the next one. There's a pie chart of culpability. Yep. There's a, a a litany of reasons why this year was underwhelming. And, and yes, Jordan Poole has a big slice of that, but he's not the only slice in the no, pie. And that's the part where I feel like he's being railroaded. And I think it's just too much. No, no doubt about it. No doubt. And so he got all that. And a lot of people are like, well, we didn't like his attitude with the media. Well, I get why he didn't like the, the media. Think about the way the media, especially this market, talked about Jordan Poole all season. Think about how much blame he got and how much ridicule he got. Now he's gone, and you can make the argument, and I made that argument on Friday, that maybe Chris Paul is going to upgrade for that second unit. Because Jordan Poole didn't view himself as a second unit type of player. But now he gets a fresh start in Washington. Best of luck to him. We'll see if he can live up to that contract. But it was just fascinating to me as I was thinking over the weekend. Just over a year ago. At this point last year where he's walking down Market Street having fun at the parade. We're like, damn. Jordan Poole's going to get better. He's ours. And now, just like that. Just like that. Like, you you brought up before the show, man, do people sour on Jordan Poole quicker than Jimmy Garoppolo? Nah, people are soured on Jimmy Garoppolo after a playoff game. So that happened quicker. But the comparison it's, is valid. It's very similar. Because of how we felt about Jimmy Garoppolo when he first got traded here yeah. to when, now think about it, he first got traded here, we had all offseason, we're like, yeah, we got our quarterback, got our quarterback. Then he gets hurt after three games, and then we're in wait and see mode. So the, it, the hate kind of... It took a while to stew. The people that uh, listen to what I'm saying, Jordan Poole was more impactful in the playoffs for the Warriors when they won a championship than Jimmy Garoppolo when they yep. went to the Super Bowl. So I'll say it again. Jordan Poole was more impactful in the playoffs for them to win a championship in 2022 than what Jimmy Garoppolo did for the 49ers getting to the Super right. Bowl that first year. Right. I, that's not a knock on either player. See, Mustafa, you're wrong. You, you, just to tweet, no, he wasn't as impact. He was more impactful for the Golden State Warriors. They don't win Warriors. game one on the right. road against Memphis without Jordan Poole. He had one good moment, Mustafa. What was the one good moment he had in the NBA playoffs? Please, because I, I can name one moment in the first quarter against the different Nuggets in game one. How about the first two games against the different Nuggets? How about first game against Memphis where he drops 31? Huh? What about the Dallas Mavericks series? What about... Game five in the NBA Finals. What about game six? Like, stop it. But that's, I think that's the part is that for We're now, lying. he's viewed as someone, and I, this isn't to say Jimmy didn't contribute. He did contribute. This is where I think we get lost in the weeds as sports fans. You know, Brandon Belt's great. Nah, he's he's good. He's good. That's, that's where he is. He's not horrible. He's not terrible. He's good. Jimmy Garoppolo did a lot of good things. He's not horrible. Right. 
He's certainly not great Hall of Fame. Jordan Poole isn't the greatest player in the NBA, and he's certainly not the worst. He had a down year, but he was good at times, really good at times, and he was also awful at times. Yep. It's somewhere in the middle, and I think that's where we get lost as sports fans. So 707, Comcast Business Text Line, he's daring me to read this. Poole didn't die. He's rich. Why do you feel the need to defend him? You're not his parents. <laughs> he's rich. I have no sympathy for him. Just stop it. I bet you won't read this on there. You're not his parents, so... Since we're not his parents, we're not allowed to have sympathy for the young guy. A little bit. I just the human element. They don't win a championship. A they don't win a championship in 2022 without Jordan Poole. Whether well, you want well, to say regular well, season forget, or playoffs, and I'm thankful it, that he came here because it, when Steph went down it, and he was coming off the bench, he was dynamic but, in that Denver series to start that series. And I think people have forgotten about it. And maybe but, they but no, no, beat no, no, Denver forget all that. Him. Forget all that. I just think for, we're being too no, harsh. No, no, no. Forget all that. It, you know, it, forget the championships and stuff. The fact that seven oh seven. How would you feel if you got punched in the face? And you became a meme every single day. You think millions of dollars is going to wash away that moment? Millions of dollars is going to erase that low moment in your life? 707, what if we posted pictures and had videos and made memes of you getting punched in the face and embarrassed every single day? There's not enough money in the world that can I lift that down. You. It's going to take a integrity. lot of time. It's your integrity. It's your pride. Yeah, I, I'm totally with you. And look, he, he was so up and down, so inconsistent. The live ball turnovers were so bad. We're pretending like he didn't go absolutely nuclear in certain games. Like, it never happened. Like, he was Brad Wanamaker. Right. Like, that's the way we're talking about him. Right. So, like, what's funny to me is 10 years later, like, we look at the Zito thing. Zito is one of the highest price free agents of all time. Had two games. Two, two games. games. Okay? Two games. And it's like, boop, championship, all worth it. Jordan Poole was better collectively over that entire year than Zito ever was in that year. All right? And we won the championship. And it's as if he was Brad Wanamaker. Like, we bought his contract Jordan out at the Poole, end Jordan, and was unplayable. Jordan Poole's year was better than Barry Zito's tenure as a giant. That's Was better than Jerry, Barry Zito's. That one year was better than Barry Zito's tenure. And I love that you wanted to get in here. What, what, what's up? This is funny. No, I just, that, that text you read off there about how, you know, we shouldn't feel sympathy. I feel like people, and Chastity, you kind of touched on earlier, people, like, have a trouble separating, like, he, like, Personal hate versus like sports hate. Like for instance, yo, know, Chris Paul. I don't like Chris Paul. Hate him as a basketball player. Me too. Max Muncy can't stand him. Agreed. I hate him. Despise him to a cellular level in a sports so sense. Little as little human little. beings, though, like I have no issues with them. As you like, I feel like that's where people lose themselves. It's like people have this like personal like vendetta against Jordan Poole as a human being to this point. And it's like people relax. At the end of the day, this is supposed to just be a game. Well, if you're frustrated with him, that's fine. Yeah, but, but going to the his... personal attacks like this that they get at him, it's just like people have just kind of lost themselves in this stuff. <laughs> You can't open the internet without seeing some sort of meme, comment, something right. like Imagine his Instagram, and everyone, oh, he's got millions of dollars. Yeah, but right. when you open your Instagram, and every comment, every DM, every tag story is making fun of you. Yeah, everyone. So that, I, that's I just that. don't think people understand But, but you that. know what? Now, a lot of people got their wish. Jordan Poole's gone. He's now gone. All right? He's in Washington. So who are you going to scapegoat next season when things go awry? Oof. Are you going to just go straight to Chris Paul? We're going to look at the veterans who blew games on that 0-5 road trip. Mm. I mean, Brian Windhorse, because you're on this. You're, you you believe that Draymond could be gone. I, I, I just don't see how you can make all these money moves and then justify paying Whoa. an extra $100 million in tax to bring Draymond back for the next couple of years. I I don't think it's Clay and Dre get extensions. Well, I, I don't know. I, I, maybe well, I'm reading it wrong, B. I, I still will be shocked if Draymond's not a warrior. But I could see why they would put there's opportunities. This is the perfect time. If you are gonna move off of Draymond Green, now's the time to do it. I agree with now's that. Now's the time to do it. That I agree. And with. now's the time not to bury yourself with And it might be with a short books. term step back for the long term game. I don't know. It may be a short term step back in the month of November. Hell, you can still compete for a championship depending what else you bring around here. I truly believe that. 